Uh, good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to JS Machine. My name is Jerry. Here we're uh, already wasted three quarters of the morning. But uh, just got out in the shop here uh, and got going and I get a phone call and my bearings were in. So, which was uh hour and a half earlier than what they said they would be. So that's a pretty good deal. And uh, got till four o'clock in the afternoon. They have them here the next morning. So we got that taken care of, and while I uh, was right there across the road is a place that sells metal, and uh, lucked out and found a piece that'll uh, work for our bearing. I had this piece, that's what I was going to use, but uh, that cup fits in there loose now, or I can slide it in and out with my hand, so it's not going to hold it in there tight enough. Alright, I didn't get a whole lot of video on what I was doing. I was run had both legs running, and I was also operating the bandsaw, all three at the same time. And uh, we got the sleeve cut and turn down and <clears throat> I think it fits snug enough but I uh, overshot a little bit more than what I was intending here I don't know they keep the stupid camera rolling so anyway we got it It, it, it's snug, but it you got to work it to get you can I had it all the way on there once already uh, It'll go in there just don't have to press it All right Well How well you can see in the camera, but we got her in there uh, I got a little bit of a wiggle in it. Uh, I don't. We we still have to. Got a little bit to bore out on the inside, and I see this was welded pipe, so you got to deal with that. Uh, I was sitting here looking at this. I don't know. I'd like to weld all the way around this outer edge and then face it off. And I chamfered the inside of this, but obviously uh, not near enough for a welder. I don't. I don't need a big heavy weld on there. So I might just face that off and uh, put the parting off tool in there. Come in there with a triangle insert, make a V right on line with the two, fill it in with a shallow weld and face it off slightly. I'll have to measure. I might have enough room to come out just a little bit so I don't have to uh, I don't want to cut that any weld any more of the weld than what I have to so I think uh, it's getting close to lunch here and it might be tapered just a little for some reason Anyway, got a friend coming over. He's supposed to be taking me out to lunch today. Uh, anyway, I'd say we're uh, we're off to the welder. 
All right, we got her all welded up. <clears throat> It's in a hurry. It's lunchtime. That's my story, and I'll stick to it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I wanted to get her done, and while we're eating, I uh, it can cool down. It'll take an hour for that to cool down, and then we're uh, back to the lathe and uh, start cleaning up the mess, make it look pretty. And another update, uh, I think we're on the downhill side of this thing, yeah, our weld uh, cleaned up really well, um, and it just looks like where it's been hit with the hammer quite a bit, but our, our weld was right here. I was going to bring you up closer sooner, but <clears throat> I hate the cutting these interrupted cuts like that. I ended it up uh, chipping the carbide inserts twice, and uh, when I went to try to face this off, ended up knocking the, tried to pull the this piece off the chuck, so. I guess there were two times I stopped and made sure, indicated it, keep it straight. Uh, got a race in there. Um, pressed right in there, just, no, uh, you know, it, it, it's very snug. It'd take quite a bit to get it back out of there, but it's not, uh, I don't know what the tolerances of these are. To be exact, or what press fit, but it, it went in there nice and smooth. Problem is, uh, and I, I thought I measured that, but to get these out, you come in through the hole in the back side and you get to the back side of that cup, and with a punch of some sort. And you drive it out. Well, there's there's a little bit of an edge there, uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So it might be a little bit tough to get that out of there if a person ever had to. But I guess worry about it <clears throat> when that time comes. This is just a acts as a thrust bearing and it does pivot just a little bit. You'll never wear that bearing out. You only tear it up like I did when it breaks. So. Anyway, that's where we're at and next. This piece gets welded up here on top again and hope it holds. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna come in here and try to put a strap on both sides towards the back where it breaks. I wanna beef this up enough that <clears throat> I think I know where the stress is coming from and it's hard to sometimes uh, solve that. And it has to do with the hydraulics on the tractor. So if I make sure this is beefed up just a little bit, maybe something else will break and any any other piece on this stupid thing can break and is no big deal other than having to stop and fix it, but you have to get this involved in a repair 
and that bearing cup and seal was uh, $239. So that's a rather expensive piece for what it does. Okay, well, I'm going to get set up here and uh, get that welded on. Well, got her welded. It'd take a couple hours now to let her cool down. He's running uh, twenty nine volts on that, <clears throat> and uh, which is I guess it's the two hundred and fifty amps or whatever. Anyway, she turned all the way up, O three five wire. And my gun didn't uh, fare too well. And she's hot clear down here at the handle. Started to melt that plastic, turned that copper color. But boy, it was, uh, it was digging down in there, so. I had that all V'd out. <clears throat> Made my one first pass on one side after I tacked it. And uh, I could see the the weld from the other side. So we've got clear up under there, plus that pipe being round uh, gives you some clearance there also. And, of course, I V'd that out. I don't know, running the... Uh, Keep building that up would do a whole lot or not, but uh, yeah, things are just too hot to go any, any further at the moment. Um, oh man, I tell you, just need a different tripod. And you'd see what my clearances are. I don't think I have anything from there. And here's where the other piece is. So I, I may uh, kind of think about laying something in here like so. Piece of half inch. Just to give it that little, uh, little extra support. Okay, I think I probably got enough here. We'll uh, be able to move on to the whatever part it would be, five or whatever. <clears throat> I'll uh, get these uploaded tonight. And tomorrow we'll get her all put together and uh, take you out to the field and show you what this thing does. Thanks for watching.